I would like to show you a simple workflow in the Energy XT DAW. This is a less known, simple, but incredibly efficient and powerful DAW. Uh, it is easy to quickly start a project, but you can also do more complex stuff like automation, all various VSTs and audio processing. Uh, let's just start uh, to add a sync track. So, this, I mean, maybe we choose the, yeah, Synced 1, famous 3 VST. Uh, we choose one of the beats. Okay. Um, this should allow us to do. Uh, Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We had a base. A chord. Major chord. D minor, D minor can be copied to A minor, and this major can be F to F major. Okay, let's add drums. This uh, is VSDRS drums, probably the, the best drum sync. The free one, instead of doing all uh, four bars, we do one. I had the two. Of course, we duplicate with with Control D over the. offset like to gain the volume of, of this track uh, because obviously these DRS drums are not too loud or loud enough I don't want to switch all this or turn this volumes higher so I, I believe we should be okay now uh, this sync seems rather high so what we have here are the a four band EQ embedded in this track so automatically I can uh, turn this on fourth band and maybe choose the low pass filter Uh, 
tempo. Okay, bass. Now, instead of using a synth, what I a VST synth, things like these here, where I don't have or I cannot manage really the presets well uh, because each of them has plenty of those and you cannot simply rave them uh, this is why I use the Zen a Zen preset manager what it does is it has a user interface like one interface uh, preset manager for all of the synths so I don't even think about plugins anymore. I more like choose a category, base, and maybe a clean one, dark one, and then I have a choice of good bases here. Um, like this one, that mellow of Synth Master actually. Um, and we can work on that later. I'll just get it. See? Is ah, what I could do. Delete this. I can duplicate this track. I am ghosted, so it's not actually the same copy. Otherwise, I would delete everything in the other copy. So, this happened now is um, I'm left with the base only, which I will just shorten. some effects um, I do have some here in my default template I could have none and I would just add them like here but a ambience is one of the best free reverbs uh, is already set up so I can just it's in the area of sense, which means uh, it's common for all the tracks. So I just turn them on, the, the effect.
which then I can change. The next thing I can do, uh, I can automate this. Speed. Pass it maybe to France. I could do that by adding a volume automation track. Um, do something like this. However, uh, I would have to do it all over the track. Okay, it's one. But this is cumbersome. Well, again, uh, exactly what I don't want to do. This work like this. I just want to show you what the default thing is. Okay, you get the picture. But I don't want to do that. So I'd even remove this automation track. What I can do is add another MIDI track here and direct the output to the same Seventh one. However, uh, this track I can use for automation only, which allows me to work only on a, on a short track and then multiplicate it. One now I have only the thing maybe before. However, now thing about this is I can change just one and all of them change.
actually I don't like this preset very much so I would like to replace it with one of those in the Zen one this would be this one and another Zen no create a new Zen in this one first sauce then super sauce here I can this one Now two zens, I have to output the right one. Okay, so this is how we multiply it with the new uh, super sauce. This is how it sounds. Mm -hmm. 